all. Hope you're all doing fine. Temperature here is about 54 degrees Fred. I just, I'm going to run down to the lake. I'm going to drag you along with me. So I just cut a little notch here in a block to put my uh, cell phone on. I got to go uh, pack up my kayak. Oh, let's see if we can get this into focus. There we go. Another gorgeous day. And uh, yeah, I'm barefoot. Barefoot grounding till the second snow flies. All the leaves are off the trees, more or less. Crazy how quick it came. So just going to pack up my kayak. I have many bug out bags and I got lots of uh, emergency gear. So no matter where I am, in either boat, backcountry, wherever, I always have uh, survival equipment with me. <clears throat> I think in another week or two, two weeks tops, I'll be locked down here for a month. My longest uh, lockdown is 28 days straight. So here's an advanced elements kayak. This is the elite expedition model here. And uh, it is phenomenal. It'll get you across portages around uh, dangerous rapids if you don't have the skills to get through them. Anyways, so... I'm just going to keep talking, but i got to keep working here. Time is short. As we all know, time is short. Sheep. Hopefully that's good enough. So another crazy thing this year is there's no berries on the plants. They've changed the chemtrails. They're killing off farmland like no tomorrow. This is insane. Last year I had a bushel basket, basket full of uh, Saskatoon berries and all kinds of other berries. This year, not one freaking berry has sprung. So don't fall for the lamestream narrative. Don't pick sides. Because uh, you pick sides, you're roped in to a trap. God does not create wars. Satan does. And for you to pick sides, it's either side of Satan's uh, Hegelian dialectic. To create the problem, get the reaction, and ultimately the solution is to enslave us all, steal our guns, steal our means to be self-sufficient, self-empowered. And the bottom line is it's all about self-preservation for you and your family and future generations. Field manual number one, badquaker.com, Ben Stone and family. Apologize to him and God Almighty for being so tardy if you haven't visited him already. They have great podcasts, great books. I buy his books and I share them with people asking me, how do we solve this, Mike? Well, like Asha Logos, like my last community page and links in my videos, Asha, Asha Logos, Stefan Verstappen, look him up too. Another good man in Ontario. Parallel societies, parallel institutions. There's no beating these mother effing psychopaths. We have to build from new foundations because these ones we're on are all being destroyed and it's escalating out of control like there's no tomorrow. Wetsuit, pumps. I already took the bug out bag out, actually. That's back in the cabin.
Got a pop-up uh, wind sail here. Anyways, I'm not going to keep talking and working. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's coming down the pipes. I'm sick and tired of the sheeple truthers out there saying it's a spiritual warfare as they destroy everything for your future families to live in poverty. You'll own nothing. Nothing. You will own nothing if we allow this to continue. You won't be able to go out of your open air prison 15 minute cities. Fuck the new world order. Wake up, get off grid, invest in God Almighty, off the grid real estate, precious metals, long term food supplies, personal protection equipment. Learn the life skills our grandparents had. You're all. It's global suicide. I don't know how you don't get it. By staying in the beast matrix, they're fleecing you all. My bills are F.A. Living off grid. Everything's paid. I have no debt in my life. And yet you continue to pay into your own enslavement. For God's sakes, people. Wake up. Leave the evil world behind. When you dance with the devil and wondering why it's a living hell. Oh, but Mike, I have family to look after. I understand there's old people out there that cannot move off grid. So help them live the best sustainable life they can. And as far as protecting your families, you're not protecting them by saying it's spiritual. Get the hell out of Dodge. I've unsubbed at least 50, 60 troofers in these last few months. And I'm going to unsub you all if you don't wake up. I'm sick and tired of seeing the same old verbal diarrhea. You're all knowing, but you never share the solutions. Get God, get the hell out of Dodge. What the hell don't you get about that? Wake up. Nobody is awake. Nobody's woke. It's an awakening. A never-ending awakening. Get it right. God bless you all. Much love and respect to everyone in my comments. Thanks for sharing and adding content for me to look into, research. You got to do the same. Get the hell off your TV programming, anti-social media, propaganda, fear porn to make you all apathetic and pathetic. If I can do it, anyone can do it. What's up? Please, please, for the sake of humanity, leave it all behind. There's no beating these psychopaths. Trust me. They've tried to murder me on a couple occasions, and here I am still screaming blue murder from the woods while you all just think you're so goddamn smart and never share what has to be done. Asha Logo, Stefan Verstappen, Southern Prepper One, The Prepared Homestead. You click on the right videos and the algorithms will feed you more. See my The Solutions playlist, please. God almighty, the world is crumbling. It's an insane asylum run by psychopaths and sociopaths. And there's no winning. You have to start new foundations. One last time, Asha Logos. A call for parallel institutions. A call for new revolutionaries. Get with it or get lost. God bless you all.